What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's episode because today is episode one of the IS300 build series. Let's get into it. Okay guys, episode one of the build series. I'm super excited for this. Last week I ordered two parts for the IS300. They're both cosmetic, both super simple, super easy to install, because I wanted to kick off the build series with something easy that I can do with no problems by myself. So I went ahead and I got the black Alteza aftermarket grill with the Alteza logo on it and four black window visors that will go around the trim of the windows. Normally on cars, I hate rain guards. They don't look very good, but on the IS, every time I see them, they just pop. They make the car look bubbly and like, I don't know, really good, so I like them now. So we're gonna install those on the car, and with the best of my ability and knowledge, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it as well for the other IS 300 owners out there. Okay, so here is the grill. Go ahead and get that wrapper off. And there she is. The black Alteza grill. I think this is gonna look amazing on the car. I really do. Now, I've seen some guys that have ordered this part in particular. And notice on the back of it, there's like, the top half is like slitted. And then the bottom half has these clips that hold in this, I don't know, this extra plastic piece. And, and it doesn't really make sense because how is the air gonna go through the grill to keep everything cool if half of it's blocked? So I've actually seen some YouTubers remove these clips and take this part out entirely. But I'm gonna pop it on the car and see how it looks with it on. And if I hate it, then I will remove that part later. Here are the four black window visors. These are going to go around the trim of the window on the upper part and it's just going to make it stick out and look a little more aggressive I think. I'm hoping that's what it will accomplish. And I'm also going to link these in the description, the grill and the visors. If you want to buy them and follow the link, I'll put them down in the description so you can do that. Now that you've seen both of the products that are gonna go in the car today, we're gonna go outside and then we're gonna start installing them. Yeah, buddy. That's gonna look amazing when I finally get it all fitted in there. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and figure out how the old one comes out. Okay, so it looks like and I feel like everybody's is gonna be different. For some reason, I have these little Allen key hex wrench. Some I feel like are 10 mils or something like that. And then we have a Phillips head right there. So once those three come out, I believe down in here, you can kind of see them. There's a few clips that are holding it into place down there. And I think you just take these off and kind of wiggle it until those clips come out. And then I think you're just gonna do the in the reverse. You're just to put it back in, make sure those clips are in there and then bolt it back up. It should be super easy. All right guys, so the old grill is out and the new grill is in. Just look at the difference. Look at the comparison. Like, that looks like hot garbage. And that's just perfect. All right, let's see what it looks like with the hood down. Just look at the difference between the old one and the new one. The old one was chipped and tattered and worn down. This just looks awesome. That is awesome, dude. I, I'm so happy with how this turned out. It wasn't even that hard. I believe there used to be quite a few more bolts and screws before the previous owner had it. 
because it was kind of weird to finagle it in there. The bumper kept kind of trying to slide away from the new grill and it wasn't wanting to f go into the holes and line up correctly. But I made it work. It fit eventually and just popped into place. So that is the finished product and I am super happy with it. Okay, so now that that is installed, we're now gonna go clean up the windows a little bit so it'll stick better and then we're gonna install those visors. Okay, so we cleaned up the windows and this is the long one on the passenger side window visor. At first glance, after just trying to mock it up, it looks like this side is gonna be a little long and it's gonna come in contact with the mirror. So I'm really hoping that this tape is super strong and it's just gonna hold it in place and maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I really hope that it's gonna fit. If not, I'll just take it off, it's whatever. They were cheap, they're not really important. I just thought they would look pretty cool. So I'm not gonna be able to record sticking them on because I'm not gonna set up my phone on this stranger's car behind me. It's not really nice. So I'm just gonna show you the finished product. The passenger side is installed now. I haven't made up my mind if I like them or not. They look okay. They're not as aggressive as I thought it would make the car look, but it's whatever. If I don't like them, I can just rip them off. So I'm gonna do the other side and then you guys let me know in the comments, should I keep them or should I rip them off? Let me know. All right guys, so now we have the finished product. Both sides are installed. Let's get a look at the right side. So whoever manufactured these need to do a little bit better with their uh, sizing because they're all off. Maybe they warped, I don't know, in shipping or something, but they're all off by like a millimeter and it's enough to make it bad and bother me. All right guys, so let me know for the last time. Keep the window visors, don't keep the window visors. Let me know in the comments. I think it's honestly too soon for me to tell since I just put them on. So maybe I'll hate them in a week or you guys just tell me they suck. I, I won't care, I promise. So let me know down in the comments what you think about those. That is it for today's episode. This was episode one of the build series. And I honestly cannot wait for the rest of everything to just slowly start coming in and building this car to its proper glory. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a blast making this video. I have so many plans coming up soon for the channel. I'm not going to be doing a build series episode every single week simply because that's a lot of money to just be constantly ordering in parts that I just don't have right now. So I have plans to spice up the channel in between the build series. I'm going to keep doing vlogs and little interactive episodes like the poll I did. And I have an idea for a new series coming very soon for the channel that'll keep things rolling in between the build series. And I think you're really gonna like it. I already have a volunteer for the first episode. So I just gotta plan all that out. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Before I forget, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all the platforms, hit the notification bell down at the bottom so you can see when I post. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.